The flood water left many people who can't get around trapped in their homes. Channel 5's Kristen Von Preisen explains what's being done for them. When the water starts to rise, we wanted to know, what about senior citizens and people with disabilities? How do they get help? It's been several days since this neighborhood in Harlingen was devastated. These homes sit behind a small lake. Monday, inside one of these homes, the rain hit. The water just rushing like a river. It's going through here. Eichel Coite says for the most part, all he could do was watch the damage unfold. There's nothing we can do. Coite is 85 years old. He says he has arthritis and he has trouble walking around. He lives at this house with his wife and grandson, who he says is disabled. There's nothing I can do here. I'm afraid it will go any higher and we're going to play for to sleep. He says they wanted to get out of the house because they weren't sure how much longer the water was going to rise. I took a chair to, on the road right there, water about right here. But I made it to get my son out, my grandson. The water was too deep. He says he called 911. With the water rising higher and higher, up to this line, up to his hips, and the water even deeper out on the street, he says nobody came out to help. We check with Cameron County about their system for taking care of people who are disabled and senior citizens during a flood. Emergency Management Coordinator Tom Hushin says the county has a 211 system where people need to register before a flood happens. He says once somebody registers, they'll be placed on a list and first responders will know to make them a priority. Goita and others are now working to move on. I'm gonna see if I can repair the, the inside of the house. The floors are soaked. The outside of the home is rotting. Now it's time to rebuild. Cameron County encourages everybody who's not already registered with their 211 system to get enrolled in case another flood happens in the future. In Cameron County, Christian Von Pricing, Channel 5 News. And that 211 system that Christian just mentioned in his report works the same way across the state. You can register online through the Department of Public Safety's Emergency Assistance Registry. We'll have a link to that system on our website, krgv.com, after the newscast.